Hi guys, today I'm doing the, what's it called, the seven deadly sins of beauty. Um, I've got the questions on my laptop here which I'm going to just precariously balance just so I can see things that let's move about. I have on slim frame. Um, right, so the first question is greed. What is your most inexpensive beauty item and what is your most expensive? So for, I've lost it already, for most inexpensive it's probably, um, I was going to say any of my MUA things like the ones that I got for a pound but then I remembered I did a lot of shopping on ELF when they had their last 50% off so like you're talking eyeliners, lip liners, little bits of um, anything from the basic line really because instead of getting it for 150 I got it for 75p so like this lip liner was 75p and um, other things I just did a stock up of basics like lip liners, um, eyeliners, just some eyeshadows and so yeah they were all 75p so those would be my most inexpensive ones and the most expensive is probably my Urban Decay palette the sustainable one so it's got all those colours inside and um, this was like like the higher end of 20 so like you're talking about 28, 29 to I want to say like about 32 um, I think it retails for £32, but I think I actually bought it on a VAT free day, so I got 20% off, which was great. But, um, this is the most expensive thing that I've brought for myself, but if you talk about things that I've been given, like the Christmas presents or birthday presents, it's probably my Yogi curler and straightener, and they depending on where you shop, are between £150 and £200. But um, the thing for this video, I'm just going to say what I've brought, so that's going to be that. Um, Rath, what products do you have a love-hate relationship with? And what product has been the hardest to get? Um, my love-hate relationship is definitely with my new, my, um, new Avon Shine Attract lipstick. Um, it's... A gorgeous colour but it's like one of those lipsticks that have a gloss around the outside and um, it's nice but it's so difficult to work with and to get a good coverage on your lips and um, I do have a full blog post about that one and why I love it and why I hate it so I'm not really going to go into the reasons but definitely that one and the one that was the hardest to get was the MUA Heaven and Earth palette um, I think you've all seen this before and um, it just looks like that lots of shimmery neutral colours in there and it was £4 but this took me about three months to get hold of as soon as I saw one I wanted one I went to Superdrugs every day to try and get it and it was never there never and um, it took me a while to get one for myself but when I brought one for someone else it took me like a day to find it I went to four different stores for that and they still didn't have it so that was definitely the hardest for me to find um, the next one is gluttony uh, what are your most delicious beauty products I have two for this because these are oh I forgot another love hate one <sighs> love hate is my BB cream my 17 one um, some days it goes on well, some days it goes on shit, and it's just like, I don't know. It's just annoying that it's not the same every day. I'm not, I just, I don't know why. It's just, oh, so annoying to wear. So yeah, back to most delicious. First off I have this lip gloss in Island Berry. Um, I end up licking this off my lips more than it stays on my lips because it's just so tasty so oh it's just like eating berries 
it's gorgeous I love it um, and then the next one is Minchi Lips because it smells like I have to open it <sighs> it smells like matchmakers the mint ones and yeah, I love this to bits so so in love with this product um, so yeah that's the Minchi Lips Peppermint and Chocolate Lip Scrub um, Sloth what beauty product do you neglect due to laziness? Um, I'd say blush or concealer. I don't. I do concealer in videos and stuff because I know it's a put in an important step for people, but I just can't be bothered most of the time because sometimes I feel like it just accentuates what I'm trying to conceal. Like I get really bad under eye circles when I've had an allergic reaction to something and yeah that's the time that I try to conceal the most and it just makes it worse so I don't really do it that much and blush I just I only have a few blushes and they're all sort of in pots in the bottom of my makeup box and I just never reached for them so I never did it but now that I've depotted them and put them in a little palette um, I probably will end up using blush a lot more um, Pride. What beauty product gives you the most self-confidence? Um, mascara. Uh, if I'm going to leave the house with no makeup on, I just have to slick on the tiniest amount of mascara. Even if it's something that just doesn't do anything, it's just there to make that black a bit more black. Um, but yeah, I can't leave the house without mascara. So that would be the one thing that gives me self-confidence. Um, lust is what attributes do you find most attractive in the opposite sex um, I don't get what that has to do with beauty but hey ho um, I don't know I don't um, let's think well definitely a sense of humour if you can't make me laugh there's no point in you um, I don't know, I've only sort of like, I wouldn't say I have a type, I like, I do date older guys, like, my boyfriend at the moment is older than me, by quite a substantial amount, but I wouldn't say that was my type, I just like his personality and him, and like, I don't know, like, I like his hair. He's got nice long hair, it's probably about shoulder length. It was like halfway down his back, but he cut it off because he was an idiot. Um, but no, I don't know. Just if you make me laugh and I feel comfortable enough to talk around you, because I am a very shy person in the world. I don't talk to a lot of people. It takes a while for me to talk to someone because I have to feel comfortable around them. But, say with the, my boyfriend at the moment, we um, we just kicked instantly and like, well not instantly, on our first date I never said a word. I probably said hello and goodbye and that was it. But, he asked me it again and then on the second date we were sort of talking quite a lot. And um, so I, I felt at ease with him a lot quicker than I do other people. So I think as long as I feel at ease with you and I can talk to you and you make me laugh, like, I don't really want much from the opposite sex really. You know, there has to be some sort of spark. You just, but you can't describe what it is because it's different for different people. But, um, so yeah, just a bit of a spark between you and make me laugh and put me at ease really. And the last one is Envy. What items would you most like to receive as a gift? Um, my boyfriend buys me perfume, which is nice, but I wish he'd stop. Unless he was going to buy me Chanel number no. 5. Hint, hint. Um, but yeah, he's not going to buy me that. <laughs> um, I don't know, because I just like those sort of little random gift things. Like, the best gift I ever was given was Blob. And that was like... It was just like a little thing that sat on your windowsill and it used to have a solar panel on and when the sun shines it used to go like this. 
it just sways side to side and I loved it and it was amazing and every time I looked at it I smiled and then it broke one day when I was moving from my flat back home and it doesn't work and then someone got me another one and this one's not the same because she sort of nods which is weird um, but yeah I like little random things um, for gifts so yeah I'm not really one for big showy off gifts or anything just the little thing that you've put a lot of thought into is a better gift for me um, or if I tell you to buy me something that's what you should buy me like when my boyfriend was like, oh, I don't know what to get you for all your birthday. And I went, oh, no, it wasn't my birthday. It was Christmas. And um, he went, oh, yeah, I don't know what to buy yet. And I went, buy me these boots. I've reserved them at a store. Go in and just buy them. And that can be my present. And I wore them pretty much every day since. And, um, yeah. So if I... If I know you and I'm telling you to buy me a present, buy me that present because chances are I want it because I already love it and I'm going to use it every day. Or just buy me, buy me random little things that are fun, like when my friend brought me stick on moustaches or she brought me a moustache tin with um, mints in. This is making it sound like I really like moustaches, which I do because they're awesome. Um, but that's a little bit weird and I'm gonna stop talking now because you're just gonna find out all the little weird things about me and I'm gonna go and film another video see you all soon guys bye